Okay, so organic chem naming uh, goes like this. Uh, all you'll need to do is know the prefix and then put the letters A and E at the end of it. So if you can count and know the prefixes, you're set. So for example, C5H12. Hexane. Hexane. Oh, uh, pentane. Pentane, yeah. Pentane. Hexane is a C6. Let's do a little weird looking. CH2, CH, no, CH3, CH2, CH3. Uh, sure, go ahead. You got th three, and three is pro, or prop, so that's propane. Tri is for the molecular prefixes. And organic, I don't know why, is the only one that has the funky prefixes. The rest are almost always the same. Are they Latin? I have no idea. Yeah, <laughs> if, you, if you figure it out, you can tell me. Uh, let's try another one. Let's make it look a little funny here. Uh, CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. Butane? Butane, there's four. And the prefix for four is but, B-U-T-A-N-E. And it's that easy. So, methane, uh, methane, methane, Propane, butane, pentane, hexane, heptane, octane, nonane, decane. Those are the ten questions you could be asked. They're all based on carbon? All based on carbon. So you know it's those if there's only carbon and H. You don't need to know anything about double bonds or alcohols? No, we're not going to do that. You'll see that in your text. Yeah. Uh, it's extremely strange that they put in that detail there because uh, if you're taking organic, it, it would take several class days to learn how to name all those because they can get extremely complex. So we're not going to worry about it. Uh, and I'll let uh, your organic teacher take care of it. Mm -hmm. When you get to Chem 2C, if you're taking that, you'll get a little more detail even uh, for, for these kinds because these are unbranched, they're straight. Uh, when they have branches on them, they get incredibly more difficult.